there's been some very exciting work recently um, by uh, a Japanese group uh, based in uh, the Reich Institute in Kobe. Um, Dr. Sasai and colleagues have been able to uh, generate uh, a, an entirely synthetic retina from mouse embryonic stem cells. And this really is a, is a landmark in uh, regenerative medicine because for the first time um, it's, um, um, it's been possible to uh, generate a complex tissue starting from embryonic stem cells. And um, this work really is, uh, is, is a, um, a culmination of a whole series of, of, uh, of studies in which um, groups have been able to direct the differentiation of uh, embryonic stem cells into um, specific uh, 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 retinal cell types. But for the first time, um, th there's, there's uh, been a demonstration of um, um, uh, the generation of a tissue that is appropriately laminated and contains, uh, seems to contain all the major uh, classes of neurons uh, arranged in the appropriate architecture. We should never say never. My, my, my own hunch is that it's going to be very difficult to transplant um, uh, retinal tissue uh, as a whole and, and um, uh, many groups have tried for over a century and perhaps a few centuries to transplant retinal sheets without success that the, the, the retinal tissue doesn't integrate into the endogenous retina but I think a more um, um, a more realistic um, prospect is to use the tissue as a, as a, as a source of uh, rod uh, and, and cone photoreceptor precursors We have um, optimised some of the surgical techniques and um, found that um, if we inject the cells in a, in a, in a very specific way, uh, we improve efficiency by 20 to 30 fold over what we reported uh, some years ago in, 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 in the Nature paper 2006. How close are we to being able to do the same sort of thing for cone cells? Um, I think that um, um, the differences between rods and cones are um, uh, are, are quite significant. Uh, they, they, and cone cells are uh, evolutionarily uh, quite, quite different, and they appear to be um, uh, less efficient at uh, migrating and integrating into the retina. That, that's what our studies suggest. But I think um, we, we have shown that that um, that cone precursors are able to integrate, but that, that um, I think it's going to require some um, uh, modifications in order to get the same sort of efficiency we see for rods. We can demonstrate improvement in vision following transplantation of rod cells. Um, but there are, this is just a first step along the way to um, taking something through to, to clinical application. We still have all of the issues um, of uh, generating uh, a sufficient number of cells from a, a, a renewable cell source, from an embryonic stem cell source. We um, are only able to um, generate cells sufficient from mouse rather than human. And um, uh, we also have to think of all of the um, uh, regulatory aspects that um, I think will take some time, let alone manufacture So this special issue is devoted to uh, um, gene therapy approaches um, uh, for, for eye disease um, and, and it's focused on gene therapy for retinal disorders. And some of the um, topics covered are uh, the various uh, gene therapy vectors that are, that are used for uh, retinal gene transfer, AAV vectors, lentiviral vectors, and also uh, some of the conditions that are, that are being treated such as near vascular, um, near vascular disorders of, of, of the retina um, as well as inherited uh, conditions um, and the inherited retinopathies and gene therapy um, for glaucoma 
uh, and uh, mitochondrial disorders. I'm not sure about the greatest impact, but it certainly uh, will have an impact because uh, I think there are many uh, ocular disorders that are amenable to gene therapy, both in, inherited and acquired, and the eye is a really good system to develop novel therapies. And so I think it'll be one of the first um, uh, tissues, organs in which gene therapy you know, may become um, a, um, uh, a, a real option for, for uh, clinical um, for treatments.